Actually, first you know, how did this come about? The, this idea. We saw the room, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's a that's good. A... That's a yeah. So we should we should start with why this is happening. So we uh, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, we decided to watch the room, the Tommy Wiseau movie. They're going to be coming out with soon. The Disaster Artist, probably. Um, I think it's December 1st, 2017, so hopefully that's when this comes out and this video should be posted before then, God willing. Um, but we watched The Room because we are like, we want to just see this really bad movie. Now, I had seen it before, uh, but Paul hadn't, so it's always fun to experience it with someone else. Um, and there we decided to watch The Room. So, start with that. What do you think of The Room? Oh, yeah, it was ridiculously bad. Like, it just didn't make any sense. And the logic behind it was just uh, like I don't even know what the room was supposed to be about, like what the, why the title. Yeah, what the room. is the room? And uh, but it's like the the stupidest thing I've seen on cinema, but it's weirdly endearing. Like I think about it and I like I like it, and <laughs> yeah. I was actually considered buying the Blu-ray at uh, Amoeba. So, but it is, uh, yeah, it is just an awful, awful movie. Yeah, and Paul and I both got to experience um, a few years ago for my comic book company, which, uh, Graphation, which is no longer a thing, and my collages I make out of comic books, which we, I still sell, but we would sell to fund those comic books. We had a, a booth at uh, Kamikaze, which is now Stanley's Comic Con in LA. And this is, you know, three, four years ago, I don't, somewhere in that range. And we happened to be across the way from Tommy Wiseau's room, uh, room booth for the room and he is just in person this weird little man that is very polite very sweet very, like he's a nice guy that's the thing and um, I had seen the movie at that point uh, but he'll he they give away basketballs and note was, that <laughs> th they give away basketballs the movie features footballs but he gives away basketballs he designs underwear he's, all these things that they sell he was sold like a bunch of like he had like a dozen of them hanging on clotheslines yeah like, on his booth yeah, the then, like they were deflated basketballs. And, and all the girls that walked by, he's like leering at them like really yeah. creepily. And, um, so, oh. but he was very nice. As we were tearing down on uh, Sunday afternoon, he approaches me, offering me a signed poster. I have that signed poster still. I wish I could. I'll, I'll grab it and maybe splice it in here, but I, I, I'd have to dig through too many things. Because I did not ask for that sign poster. I didn't request it in any way whatsoever, but it was nice of him to like give it to me. But it was like the, hey you, I'm the big shot, sign you this poster over. And I should have like signed something and gave it to him, like one of my comic books, that would be great. Did you take a camera with you and he was like, hey doggy. <laughs> I wish, hey doggy. And I'm like, come on, you're my best customer. <laughs> so uh, the room is great. Maybe in the future, Paul and I would certainly like to talk about it in more depth and share more about the room. I want to ask you, so when we watched The Room, right, it was really bad, but somewhat endearing. Like, it's so bad it's good. So what is it that makes, like, The Room so bad it's good while these other ones just bad? Like, you just, they're awful. Like, what's... I don't know. Uh, I feel like with that, it's because we know things about the making of it and how he was, like, really in bed. Like, he was really trying. Like, he thought he was going to win an Oscar. He thought he was going to, like, show the world. And, like, that, I think, is part of it. Like, knowing those things. Like, like that earnestness of, like, I want to succeed and, and fail. I think, because I, I think that's what we appreciate, you know? Okay. Um, I, you know, I'd rather try to do something I love and fail at it than just hide away. And, 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 and you know, we all have that fear of taking that step. Now, that's a guy who has no talent, yeah, but no skills not even good with the English language yeah. and he wrote and directed a movie yeah, I have to respect that there. you know and sure it was the I'm the best guy in the world movie which is like basically the whole movie saying how great he is and you should all be sad when I'm gone that's the whole point of that movie yeah. you know everyone screws me over but I'm wonderful um, but I think that's why like, because okay. I think that's part of it. And I think what, you know, that's why, like I said, the, the late, like the yoga hosers, these later Kevin Smith movies, they don't have that because it's like, I'm trying to make it tongue in cheek. You know, like yeah. certain movies that have come out recently that are like kind of, you know, that like it's, it's an intentionally a bad movie. It doesn't work as well. You know, mm -hmm. like when you're making it that way, it's, unless it's a straight comedy, it's like, no, it doesn't work. But those, the, like the heart, it's the heart. Yeah. I think no matter what, the room has heart. I'd have to say I concur. Like it, it feels there's an earnestness, like you yeah. said, and it's sincere, and it's like it's a dream of his, and he fully realized it. 
And so you gotta appreciate that. I mean, you gotta respect that. That, you know. Yeah. 